with another video so if you like this nigga content i've been bringing what i need you to do is like comment subscribe to this youtube channel tell a friend to tell a friend to tell that friend and all those friends to come on over and like comment subscribe all that good 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 stuff today what i can tell you is patience is virtue you gotta have patience in the sneaker community when buying shoes, taking L's, you got to have patience because shoes go on sale. This shoe sold out on release day on me. I was like, all right. The market wasn't too bad to where I was like, I'll reach back for it. It's not a must-have since I took an L, but I can wait. Resale wasn't that bad. Come to find out, I I was on our Mama Year website one night, and they got it. I'm like, I'm going to go up there the next day. They had it in store for retail, but not my size. Glad I didn't get it that day. So glad. Because shout out to Sneaker Politics. Retail on this was like $150. I paid $79 with a 10% off discount. Because they wanted $90. I paid 70 Somehow, retail was close to... They wanted 90 was already on sale. Gave me a discount. But what I got, these clock tezzes. Boy, your mama must really love you. Mama always told me life was like a box of chocolate. This is like my second pair of clocks in my collection. With this, with this brand's collab, I only get shoes I really, really like. Like, I got the 14s because 14s are my favorite. Those Kiss of Death Air Maxes are cool, but yeah. This is the Nike Cortez Clot Collab. The colorway is white, game royal. Size seven, my size. I thought about going to seven and a half, but I'm like, Cortez has fit me true to size. I haven't had a pair of Cortez's in years. But y'all, what I like is the black and white box. You got Nike right there, and then it fades into the translucent. Then you got different uh, karate karate techniques around here. This shoe is supposed to be a shoe you can wear multiple ways. But so when you open the box, you get extra insoles, which we'll talk about. You got the Nike and Clot logo in red with white all around it just a simple insoles then your paper with the yin yang yang with the same thing that's going around the box you have but we're here for these we are here for that You can see I can go ahead and pull that little stick out. The clock tezzes. Let's talk about the outsole. You got that standard Cortez outsole. 
Like always, my gripe is you could have did that red or blue. These are in the Forrest Gump colorway. If you remember the movie Forrest Gump, Jenny gave him a pair of Cortezes, which was in this colorway. Then you come around, you got that that white fade into that blue. Then once you get around the toe box, it's all white. Then we just gonna, this is what we about to do. Take this whole shoe apart because this is what this goes to. To where you can wear this like a slipper. Even though I don't think I put the right insole in the right one. But y'all see, that's how it looks with that in there. Which, to be honest, I might be wearing it like this. And like this, I don't know yet. I haven't thought. I know my first wear is going to be the way it came packaging. Then after that, I'm going to wear multiple different ways. You got your your half of your blue swoosh right here. You got laces on the back with the blue aglets with this in blue with white for the yin and the yang. Then let's talk about this shoe the actual shoe it's like what i feel like this is like a good boxing shoe karate shoe fighting shoe it's all white man hold up because this is some good leather like man this shoe is like super light but the leather on this is a one Let's talk about the outsole. You got your Clark Brandon right there. You got black with the white right here. All white leather with a red Nike swoosh. Then you got some Chinese writing right here on the back. And then uh, Chinese, Jap Chinese or Japanese. I don't want to disrespect anybody. I don't know what it says on the back. But you have that. Let me give y'all a better look at what this one says right there. And you got the clock branding on the tongue right there. On the insole, you got the yin and the yang. You got nike in red and then you got the clot logo in red with a white insole and a white sock liner but man i i really like this shoe i've been wanting this shoe since i first saw it drop since the white and black ones but that that re, that price never dropped so i was like i i don't need it Excuse me. And then the black and yellow ones, I could have got on release day for retail, but I kept adding them card. And I, I added them card, then I never checked out because I was like, I get the Bruce Lee, but I'm not that big in the karate movies, if I be honest. But this, it's like, it's Forrest Gump, classic movie. Tom Hanks is one of my all-time favorite actors. So I had to get this one. And it was on sale too. Can't pass up a good sneaker sale. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. What's your favorite colorway of these Clot Tezzes? And man, Nike and Clot are officially ending their collab. I think the last shoe they dropped that they dropped was the What the Dunks. But y'all let me know what's your favorite colorway. Do y'all rock Cortezes? I know Cortezes to me feel like an LA thing. Down south, we we didn't really rock Cortezes like that. We if we saw a dope colorway, we got a pair, but we ain't rock them like that. But like always, y'all be blessed, y'all be safe. Till next time, arrest the killers. I stand on that. Respect female sneakerheads. I stand on that. Respect black women. I mean that. We gotta get to this old feet of these Nike clock. Here's y'all. Please go to the